In January of 2021, Sling TV became the latest streaming service to raise its rates. Yeah, the cheapest package now costs $35 per month for new customers, which is a $5 increase from what it had been. The Sling TV price increase won't affect existing customers until July 2021. So if you already have Sling, you're safe for now. But regardless of whether you have Sling TV or not, the price hike offers a good reason to review the streaming service and see if it's still the best deal for you. Let's get into it with five things to know about the Sling TV rate hike. Sling TV is one of the best streaming services available because of its price and channel offerings. Let's start with the cost. If you want to cut the cord on cable, Sling TV is an excellent choice. It has always been the Walmart of the streaming world, the low cost leader. Yeah, it's cheaper than YouTube TV and Hulu Live, both of which raised their rates during the heart of the pandemic. In July 2020, YouTube TV raised its rates by $15 to $65 a month. In December 2020, Hulu Live raised its rates by $10 to the same price, $65 a month. I think it's important to note that this is the first rate hike Sling has issued since July 2020, and it's only by $5 a month. Yeah, and you know, like so many streaming services, Sling says the reason for the rate hike is that networks are charging them more to show their content. They have to pass that cost on to customers at some point. Thankfully, Sling is letting current customers avoid the price hike, like John said, until July of 2021. And in doing so, it's making good on a guarantee that it issued in July of 2020 not to raise rates for a year. Okay, let's move on to our second item, Sling TV channels. Does Sling have the shows you want? Unlike YouTube TV, which has just one plan, Sling's packages can be a little confusing, so they're worth reviewing. There are two Sling packages, orange and blue. Both are $35 a month and include slightly different channels. Blue is great for news and entertainment because it includes CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC, as well as popular lifestyle networks like A&E, E, and HGTV. It also offers Fox and NBC in select markets. Overall, it comes with 45 channels. If you like sports and family-oriented content, Orange is better. It includes ESPN and ESPN2, as well as CNN, HGTV, Freeform, and the Disney Channel. It has less channels than Blue at just 31. The big difference is with sports channels. Orange includes ESPN, Blue has Fox Sports. If you want both, you'll have to choose Sling Orange plus Blue, which includes the entire Sling TV channel lineup. Sling also lets you switch between orange and blue or go up to orange plus blue and back down at any time with no fees. So if you just wanted orange for college football season, like we do, you could switch over to blue when it's over and stick with orange during the college football season. That's a great point, John. But does Sling have the channels that you want? Sling has a really handy tool called the Optimizer that you can use to pick the best package for your channels. We share a link to it below, but basically you just scroll to the customize your TV box and type in the channels you want. You can add them to your list and Sling will tell you which packages and add-ons to choose. For example, if I wanna make sure that I can stream CNN, HGTV, and ESPN, I'll start entering those channels and I'll see that I can get them all with Sling Orange for $35 a month. When I add FS1, I see that I need the orange and blue package, which will cost $50 a month. If I add Disney Junior, I see that I'll need to add the kids extra package for $6 a month. Finally, let's say I wanna add Lifetime Movies. That channel is in the Lifestyle Extras package for another $6 a month. To get all these channels, I'm up to $62 a month. That's getting pricey enough that it probably makes sense for me to look at Hulu Live, Fubo or YouTube TV to see if I can get all those channels for about the same cost or a little more with some of the added content and features that come with those streaming options. One more thing to note, if a network is not on Sling, it will show not found when you type it into the optimizer. This is the case, for instance, with ABC, which Sling does not carry. That's an excellent point, Nicole. Before we move on to our third item, it's important to remember that Sling really does not offer local channels. Fox and NBC are available in some networks, 
but the best way to get your local channels is with an antenna. That's exactly what we do. For a low one-time cost and about 10 minutes of your time, you can get all of your locals free for life. We have a video on finding the best antenna for you, so check that out. However, not offering local networks is how Sling keeps its prices down, so it's important to remember that too. Okay, now let's move on to our third item, Cloud DVR. When considering cutting the cord, many people want to know if they're able to record their favorite shows. Sling used to barely be able to say yes to this question. Its DVR capacity was a paltry 10 hours until now. With the price hike, they upped their cloud DVR recording capacity to 50 hours, and that's a pretty big boost. You can record multiple shows at once in the Sling TV DVR as long as you have the space. You can fast forward through commercials and the shows you've recorded, and there's no expiration date on your recordings. Sling will automatically delete the oldest recording first as you run out of space unless you've favorited an item. And if you think that 50 hours isn't enough, you can upgrade to 200 hours for an extra $5 a month. If you record a lot of live sports games, this might be a good option for you. Great point, John. Okay, let's move on to item four, streaming Sling. How easy is it? The commercials certainly make streaming Sling TV look easy, and it is. It works with a lot of devices. The Sling TV app is very easy to get and use. Just like you have other apps you enjoy on your tablet, smartphone, laptop, and TV like Netflix or YouTube, you can download the Sling TV app for free. Install it on your device and start watching. Sling TV is available on Android TV, Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Chromecast, and through smartphones and many smart TVs. Sling often runs deals and promotions for new customers. One we like that's running right now is the ability to get a free Air TV Mini when you sign up and prepay for two months. If you don't already have a streaming device like a Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, or Chromecast, this could be a great option for you. Okay, time for our final item. Can you watch Sling on multiple screens at once? The answer is that it depends on which bundle you choose. With orange, you can only stream on one screen at a time. Blue gives you up to three screens at once. Orange plus blue gives you four, one with orange channels and three with blue. This is confusing, but what it means is that you can still only stream orange channels on one screen at a time even with the blue plus orange package. So if you wanna watch ESPN in your basement, someone else cannot also watch Disney Junior in the living room at the same time. But if you have blue, you could watch HGTV on one screen and CNN on another at the same time. If you wanna know more about how Sling TV works, watch our Sling TV review video where we go into more detail about the service. All of the features and channels offered make Sling a good option. But what if you want to spend a little less? There is one cheaper option worth considering, Philo TV. Philo TV is the absolute best budget option for cutting the cord as long as you're okay with not having sports. There's no ESPN and there's no Fox Sports. However, you do get over 60 other popular channels for just $20 a month. That's an amazing deal. If sports are a must for you, Fubo TV is one of the best alternatives to sling out there. It's more expensive. The family plan starts at $65 a month, but it could be worth it to you if you watch a lot of sports. Watch our Fubo TV review video for more on that streaming service. Okay, before we go, let's wrap up with Sling TV pros and cons. The price is the biggest pro. If you only watch a handful of channels and Sling has them, you really can't beat the price, even with the recent price increase. Also, it works on lots of devices and now includes 50 hours of DVR recording capability. Cons are that the bundles are complicated. It offers limited local channels and you can't stream on more than one screen unless you have the blue bundle. Okay, that's it for us. Let us know what questions you have about Sling in the comments below. How do you feel about the Sling TV price hike? Is it still worth it in your opinion? If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button so you can be notified of our new content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.